In the same year Ducati introduces a V4 Superbike, ditching the engine configuration synonymous with its name. It also gives us the Scrambler 1100. It's not a super sport, or a monster, or any other definitive Ducati. It doesn't even come in red. Ducati's strong heritage and history had bred a legion of faithful who bow to the diadem of Odismo and enshrine the reliquary of dry clutches, trellis frames, and curvy red fairings. Ducatis he worshipped at the Cathedral of Imola, and blessed the patron Saint Tagliani. May he rest in peace. How is the Ducatista to interpret the Scrambler 1100? Yes, it's beautiful. But is it a Ducati? If you've watched Ducati Scrambler 1100 marketing short film, The Getaway, starring Imogenesi, Gold Deluxe, and Dave Hardcastle, does that sound like the cast of a 70s Italian stag film, or what? You might be even more dubious, tempted to write off the 1100 as a bike that's more style than substance, more market niche than definitive Ducati. Until you ride it, that is. The Scrambler 1100 is the genuine article. For one beautiful sunny afternoon in Portugal, the Scrambler 1100 special carried me on twisty roads clinging to the coastline. It's 1,079cc air cooled ease modu growling from apex to apex. It's exhaust crackling and popping in that special Ducati way.